Hey, what's up everybody? TechFit360 here, and thank you so much for joining me for yet another video review. Now today on the channel, I have something that I'm really excited about showing you. Today, I have the Yi Blood Pressure Doctor smartwatch. Now what separates this smartwatch from all the rest is that not only does this smartwatch track your calories burn, not only does it track your heart rate, not only does it record your steps, folds your clothes, and makes your dinner. Okay. Maybe not the last two. I still have to do those. But what's so cool about this smartwatch is that it will measure your blood pressure. How cool is that? But the question I have, is it accurate? Now we're gonna find out that on our road to being tech fit. It starts in three, two, one. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please consider joining the TechFit360 crew by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. Now let's check out today's video. It's already in progress. Shh. So full disclosure, this product was sent out to me for free in exchange for my honest review. And that's exactly what you're gonna get because that's how I do things here at TechFit360. Included in the box is the Blood Pressure Doctor Quick Guide to get you up and running quick, fast, and in a hurry. Next, there's a very detailed instruction manual, a USB to micro charging cable, there's a wrist diameter tape, a black charging dock, and last but not least, it's the Blood Pressure Doctor Stainless Steel Smartwatch. And may I say, this is one nice looking watch. What do you think? All right, everybody, so I'm not going to make you wait because I know the real reason you came to this video is because of a smartwatch that takes your blood pressure. And what I'll do later is cover the specs and some of the other features. But first, I want to show you what happens when you go into the blood pressure app right here, the BP. I'm going to show you what happens when you press that button and you click start. This is what happens when you check your blood pressure. It'll tell you that, hey, make sure it's the same level as your heart. And look at the cuff inflate. Just like the cuff that you'll put around your arm or your wrist from another blood pressure machine, it'll inflate. And when I hit the stop button, it will deflate just as fast as it inflated. So I wanted to show you that, what happens when you put this around your wrist. And so let's go ahead and put it around my wrist. Now, what I do have to get used to is having to buckle on this side versus the other side, like my uh, regular watches. All right. Okay, so you must make sure that there's a two finger distance between the bottom of your palm and the watch strap. So make sure it's at least two fingers, okay? There are two ways to check your blood pressure. You can go to the BP app itself and just hit BP, or if I press and hold the home button, it will automatically start. All right, so I got an error code and it could be because I have this too tight. Okay, so let me loosen it just a little bit. Maybe I'm just way too excited to give this a shot. All right, I got my reading and yeah, it is definitely elevated. So I'm gonna do it one more time. I wanna see uh, how close the readings are. Is, is If it's gonna just give me a crazy astronomical number or is it going to stay within the same reading so let's do it again all right so it's about the same pretty much right what you don't remember my other reading okay very easy if you go ahead and just swipe up you see that right there that's called bp record just tap on bp record so that's 130 over 80 right now. So I did calm down a little more. And, but down here, see when I started, I was uh, 131 over 83, but then I started running around and doing some crazy things, trying to talk and take my blood pressure at the same time. That does not work. So make sure 
you are very, very relaxed when you take your blood pressure, but that is definitely better than it was before. That is pretty good, pretty awesome. Okay, I thought it fitting just to go ahead and try another blood pressure machine just to see uh, if the two readings, if the reading from the smartwatch and the reading from this blood pressure machine right here is similar. Yes, there's a rock under my blood pressure machine because I'm trying to keep it level so you can actually see the display. All right, once again, gotta relax myself. And here we go. Come on, the battery's lit. All right, hang on. Okay, running around and getting the adapter, it's probably gonna make my blood pressure shoot up. Okay, so let me relax. I hope you can see that. All right. Woosa. Okay, I'm all relaxed. Here we go. <laughs> okay, a little more elevated on this one, but in my defense, I did run and get the adapter for this bad boy and then come back and then take my blood pressure, show you, you know what? I'm gonna take it again. All right, so 137 over 80 with a pulse of 66. And isn't that similar? Oh, well, you can see it. And now, isn't that, whoa, what is happening here? Ah, everything's going off. Okay, so 137 over 80 with a pulse of 66. And if I go over to the BP Doctor smartwatch, my blood pressure was 130 over 80. And check it out, the pulse is exactly the same. So yes, I would definitely say that the smartwatch, the blood pot, the BP Doctor smartwatch gives you an accurate reading. That is pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some of the other features because this smartwatch does so much more than just take your blood pressure. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so once again, we're gonna take a closer look at the apps that are included with the phone. And uh, I'm gonna start off with the watch faces, okay? Okay, so you can change watch faces. I mean, if you press and hold the display, you can go ahead and swipe through other watch faces. I think I'll stick, let's see, I think I'll stick with that uh, one right there. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the apps that uh, are included with the watch. And you can, uh, download any more uh, apps. What you see here is pretty much what you get, okay? But I know we are already a little acquainted with the blood pressure app, but I'm gonna go into it again. Of course, we know how to take our blood pressure, but if you swipe to the left, you can also, there's a guest mode. So you can have your friends, family, you can allow them to take their blood pressure on your watch and it will not interfere with your own personal stats, okay? If I swipe up, of course, there again is the BP record. And we went over that, how it keeps track of your blood pressure readings. It will keep 30 records before it starts overwriting itself. Now, if I click this little configuration icon right here or the settings icon, you can do custom settings. Um, like if I hit settings right here, you can do time intervals. If I back up, okay, I missed it. If I back up and go, Okay, there we go to cycle mode and click settings. Okay, so basically right here, you can set up timers for uh, to check your blood pressure, like morning, you can go set it up for noon, you can set it night. And okay, here is your blood oxygen. This will monitor your oxygen levels. Here is your heart rate monitor. Now I have it set to auto measure. All right, you have workouts. You can select set workouts so you can achieve your fitness goals. You can do outdoor walking. You can track your indoor running. You can track your outdoor running. Next, we have alarms. You can set alarms. All right, in here, you have your calories. You can see your calories burned, whether you're working out or walking. And we have sleep here. This will automatically uh, monitor your sleep. And right here, of course, you have your local weather. Going back one more time, here are, your, here are your settings. Okay, so I can go to display. I can choose my screen timeout. I can choose the brightness. I can uh, choose whether to have the display always on or raise to wake. You know, um, of course, if you turn these features on, it will cost your battery life to drain that much quicker. 
going back. This is your HRV and this will monitor, let me go back in, this will monitor your sleep behavior. Come on, go to the clock. Okay, if I swipe, if I start swiping left, it will just show me some, some of my history, you know, of what I've done. It will show my history of my oxygen levels, my heart rate and blood pressure. And if I swipe to my right, this will list my uh, steps as well as my miles and so forth. So that is pretty good. If I swipe down, uh, this is a quick way to get to your settings and see there's the vibrate mode. Now the app will track everything that your watch rec uh, records. It's pretty much like a medical chart and there is a lot of cool information that you can uh, see in this app. So you definitely want to spend some time and checking it out. See, you can even set goals in this app. You know, it'll track your workout and it'll show you your steps, your calories burned, even your sleep, you know. So I didn't sleep in it last night, so it has uh, nothing there. But see, this is on the 24th and it will give, give even give you a score of uh, for your sleep quality and the daily average sleep duration. And it's, ah man, this app has so much to it. Here is the watch faces. You can choose watch faces right here. They're free. You can go ahead and select whatever watch face you want and just say download and install. Uh, it also has your blood pressure category. So whatever your reading is, you can come here and you can find out if it's normal or if it's elevated or you're, whether you're in stage one or stage two of hypertension. Now, if we're just looking at the cosmetics of the watch, um, it's in oval shape. Is staying the still. You have two main buttons. You have the power button right here. If I press and hold that power button, I can actually shut my watch down. This right here, this is your home button. The watch also has a screen size of 1.4 inches. It's an AMOLED touch screen. It has a resolution of 320 by 360. It has 256 megs of RAM. It has the, a 208 megahertz MediaTek processor. It has a PPG heart rate sensor. It's USB charging and it weighs 80 grams. And since I mentioned about the whole charging the battery, this is the charging dock right here and basically all you do is line the watch up you'll have a uh, little grooves right here to follow so you just pretty much line your watch up with that and it will just snap in place like that i don't have it plugged up now but it will charge just like that set it down and let it charge now when you uh take it out the charge you got to put a little force to it because it's, it's really tight so you just have to put a little force and it'll pop right out that's it Okay, so TechFit 360's final thoughts. First of all, I love the watch. I think it is absolutely amazing and it does exactly what it says it will do. Now today we've done things like record our blood pressure. We even compared the blood pressure from the BP Doctor smartwatch to my own personal blood pressure machine. And as you saw, the readings, they were similar. They were very close. And matter of fact, the pulse I believe was right on the money. As far as battery life, I get about three days of use out of it. But I can like increase my battery life by turning things off like the whole display on all the time or uh, raise to wake. Some things like that I can turn off to extend my battery life. But if you're taking your blood pressure like five or six times a day, you know that's going to also uh, cause your battery life to drain quicker you know so just remember things like that uh one of the things that i've had i had a problem with is that the strap the uh the watch strap it keeps coming out of the um strap loop you know it just works itself out and uh i'll put it back in and then it'll work itself out again now my wrist is a size seven and a half so that's something you may want to remember in case you decide to uh purchase this smartwatch I think the BP Dr. Smartwatch is awesome and I'm giving it the TechFit 360 thumbs up. Now, if you would like to purchase a smartwatch for yourself, I'll leave the links in my description along with any discount codes that may become available in the future. Now, at the time of this video, the watch sells for $299. Listen, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you subscribe to the TechFit YouTube channel for more tech videos just like this one. This is Dan TechFit360 and I will see you, you got it, in my very next video. Thank you for watching. God bless.